<laughs> Good morning. It's Tuesday. It's May 25th. If you're a Terry Pratchett fan, that's significant to you. If you're not, it's Unboxing Day here at Haven Comics. Uh, it's the uh, day of the uprising. The, uh, it's from one of the books. It's the uh, How the Little Angels Rise Up. That. Um, we have a little bit of a weird setup today because we got one of our boxes early, so we sorted it. But we still have one, two, three boxes waiting off screen. Our DC Comics. And y'all don't know what's in this pack. No one knows. I kind of do. But we'll get to it. We have this that's been puzzling us. This is a magazine-sized issue of ZigZag. This is a Fantagraphic publication. It both zigs and zags. Yeah. We got the Eternal oh, Game Trade Magazine, if you want to know what's happening in the world of board games and card games and tradables and all that fun stuff. We've got uh, The Creep, a Warrant magazine. This is Creep 31. I love these magazines. We've got Creepy Classic Movies, Monster Bash. They're doing a Monster Bash Under the Stars, a Monster Film Fest in June in Vandergriff, PA. That's cool. Um, they're showing Curse of Frankenstein, lots of old classics. That's fun. That'd be neat if it really is a drive-in. I feel like that should be a reference to uh, the Mabim Bam Boys. Yeah. Oh, Monster Factory? No, not Monster Factory. Uh, forget the series. Oh, the Adventure Zone? Yeah. Where they did the RPG in West Virginia? Yeah. Yeah. And it, it is. It's at the Riverside Drive-In, Route 66, uh, northeast of Pittsburgh. That's really neat. I love stuff like that. Morning, Andrew. Morning, CBCP. Acronym. <laughs> Hello. Consonant. Um, this is the 40th anniversary special edition Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Greetings, Jay. Hello. And then we have, this is fun, this is a highlight. This is uh, a World of Warcraft recipe book. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh, good morning. Featuring, let's flip open and find a good. Ooh. This is. Molasses Firewater. Let's find a food. Ooh, here we go. Fried cheese dumplings. So these are always cute. These books are surprisingly good and in-depth with their recipes. Like some of them you think like, oh, it's just a silly thing. Like, no, the people who made these books have a lot of love for whatever series they're making the recipes for, and it really shows. Also, the food is always like so well photographed. That's even if you don't cook, they're fun to look through. Hey, Zach. Hey, Zach. Good morning. So, like I said, we got a part of our... We had Choose Your Own Adventure books when I was little, but I didn't have Choose Your Own uh, Adventure graphic novels, so that's cool. You can play alone or with friends, build or upgrade your park, sabotage your opponent's parks, and explore parks from around the world. That's cool. We've got uh, manga versions of the stories of Edgar Allan Poe. Okay. 
we've got the dynamic forces cool little pack. Let me fold this tape in so I don't hurt the comics, even though they're probably dragged and bored in this. We've got issue number one of the champions. that's got it certificate for being one of a specially limited series of 7,500 copies. Uh, this is a variant edition for the amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> and it is Peter Parker getting a text on his phone saying, you need better lock, lol. That's cute. And then we've got Star Wars. Issue number one. This is a variant edition. Ooh, this is signed. And this one's number 12 out of 300. So Star Wars number one dynamic forces variant. Hang on. As one of a specially limited signed series of 300 copies signed in silver by Greg Land. Okay. So that's pretty cool. We've got, ah, here we go. Here's something that people will be interested in. Here is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin, issue three. This is the retailer incentive cover. And then this is the Isao and Isaac Escort. And looks like those are the two covers of the last Ronin we have. We got Alien, issue number three. Beta Ray Bill, issue number three. Yeah, Black Panther. This is the Heroes Reborn variant for issue 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get back here. And then we have, this is something that was highlighted on our Sunday post that Josh puts up. This is the Blue Flame, issue number one. Uh, these are always beautiful covers. Dragon Age, uh, Dark Fortress, issue number three. Good, weird old haha. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic Annual. We had cats last week, so we get dogs this week, I guess. Cats are better. Yeah, well, dogs are good, though. Cats are better, but. Yeah, dogs are more helpful. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, this is Magneto and the Mutant Force, issue number one. This is a very interesting cover. which Magneto and the Mutant Force does 
have the correct amount of syllables to be a replacement for Josie and the Pussycats, if you can remember the Josie and the Pussycats theme song. And if I did, you're welcome for that earworm for the day. Magneto and the Mutant Bulldogs. Um, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, issue 26, The Clone Saga. No one's having a good day. I mean, when you learn you're a clone, I don't think you're having a good day. I don't know. Depends on your... Depends on how you're told you're a clone. If it's like, hey, congratulations, you're no longer considered a duplicate and can't be killed, you'll be like, yay, what? <laughs> New Mutants, number 18. Yeah, but think about all the government paperwork you got to fill out to get a new identity. Well, they kind of already. Mm, yeah, true. Do you have to get a? Do you have to get a new social security? Yeah, you would. Is it just the same social security but number? Dash C. A. Yeah, dash B. Dash C. Oh God. What if you? What if you're like, oh yeah, and you turn out you're like dash P, and it's like, hang on, hang on, hang on. And one more from here. Shadecraft, issue number three. Lisa Boss, what's your next? didn't fold on its actual where it's uh, meant to fold, so it's very weird. Ah. Part of the invoice. Very important. And these are replacements, it looks like. So we've got two Black Panther covers for issue 25. Does this work? I wheelchair superhero. Help me. Hello. Big box. Big box. Invoice. We've got Batman t shirt. We don't forget about Robin. He exists. Yeah, I like Robin. I like all the iterations. Yeah. And then we got Darth Vader and family, family calendar. Oh, and this calendar doesn't start until August of this year because it's made for... Uh, I guess an American school year. That's smart. And it's got uh like it's got stickers and like a time chart for when you've got practice and events and all sorts of things. That's that's pretty useful. Should have started on May fourth. <laughs> That'd be cool, yeah. And then this is the Spider Man. This is the Spider Punk. PVC diorama, spider punk is fun. This is not going to do it justice. I'll flip it around for the picture. I 
And then we will do our attempts to get a good light, which won't happen. But, but we'll try. Nope, we're just getting glare as usual. There we go. We got some light on it. Yeah, spider punk is fun. I have a friend that cosplays him. It's good. Uh, All right, let's get to this big box. We got a light spot there, so we'll see. We have issue number five of I Breathe the Body. Ooh. We're getting weird on that cover. I like it. So my question is, is it the same body or is it a new body every issue? You got to find out. You got to check their social security card and see what <laughs> alphabet number they're at. We got you spawn. This is issue 318. We've got... Black Widow, issue number seven. My Little Pony, Transformers, The Magic of Cybertron, issue number two. Uh, compare them to Captain Dog. Transformers are arguably more helpful than dogs, I guess. Well, they cause a lot more trouble, too. Mm, I think there's the bottom of the rung. <laughs> We've got Dune, House of Treaties, issue number seven. Now featuring Aquaman. <laughs> I was thinking more um, Nightwing. Two, moon. Two Moons, issue number four. Couple issues in two minutes. Firefly, issue number 29. Come here. Come here. Issue four of a four issue series for Casual Fling. Story is concluding. Different cover for my for uh, Transformers: The Magic of Cybertron. Siege Society number one. This is the Heroes Reborn variant. There you go. We've got Chariot, issue number three of five. Reminds me of Knight Rider for some reason. Yeah. Department of Truth, issue number nine. Come here. Captain Marvel, issue number three. The most important character in Captain Marvel, the yeah. kitty. Or whatever the alien name for it is that it eats people. It's lurking. Thank you. And then we have Spider Man, Spider Shadow. This is issue number one. Second printing. Star Wars, issue 
Wars, War of the Bounty Hunters, Dr. Aphra, issue number 10. Crimson cover. Oh, yes, this would be the Crimson cover, as we've learned. More casual fling. Young Squadron, number one. This is, again, the Heroes Reborn. Very interesting. This is baby. Almost reads like baby Cerberus. Yeah. And here is the, I believe, the concluding uh, issue for the Abbott 1973 story. Could be wrong. Don't hold me to that. Star Wars Adventures, The Weapon of a Jedi, issue number one. Uh, we know what it. Yep. To no one's surprise, it's popular. Issue number one of Red Shift. <laughs> I'm intrigued by the cover. Something is killing the children, issue number 16. Shadow Man, issue number two. X Men, issue number twenty. Issue number four, Shadow Doctor. Lady Baltimore, the Witch Queen. The Mike Mignola goodness. Always a favorite. He does a good comic. <laughs> uh, Marvel Action Classic, issue number three, Spider-Man, two in one. Keep cover. Firefly, issue number 29. I believe this is, yes, this is the variant of the cover we saw earlier. Or the issue we saw earlier. You know what I mean. Ooh, we've got one of my favorites for the incredible art. This is Monstrous, issue number 34. Look at that. Gorgeous. The inside is similar. Yes. If you want cool fantasy with gorgeous art, Monstrous is probably your jam, or definitely at least <laughs> worth checking out. Alien number three, this is the variant edition. Oops, all alien. That is not a phrase I want to hear. No. 
There's not a lot of phrases involving alien that people want to hear. Oh, yeah, I'm here to get my shipment. What is it? Uh, oops, all alien. Uh. Uh, Star Wars, War of the Bounty Hunters, Darth Vader's Prelude, Into the Trap, issue number 12. High fructose corn syrup. <laughs> They make these any longer going to be like the uh, Power Wheels commercial guy who would go super, super fast. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. okay. eh. I'm being attacked. They fell from the sky. Issue number four. I don't recognize that title. I bet it's something that we just don't catch sailing through the boxing. Maybe. We got a red Sonia. She got into an argument with some strawberry jam. This is Black Panther, issue 25. This is another variant edition. This is the Stormbreakers variant edition. Not only is it the Stormbreakers variant, this is the fine art variant. Displaying, I'm going to say it wrong, Brute African. This is, I'm guessing, nice. a specific style of art. And Bustos again. Yeah, we like Bustos. I'm enjoying the Stormbreakers thing interesting yeah it's definitely mm. get to see some different styles of art on the front yeah the era of great wonders issue six of six that caught me because their names are almost written in the mouse guard font <laughs> nothing wrong with that i just noticed new font for every book god do you know how i'm possible they all must be readable. When contracts renew, it's just a bloodbath for like a good font sans serif. God, all the fighting over Comic Sans. <laughs> Comic Sans is an okay font for its purpose. Yes. It just got weirdly misused. But how many comics use Comic Sans on their title? I don't know. If someone knows, let us know. Comic Sans, it's good. It can help uh, dyslexic, dyslexic people. Mm -hmm. That's your Comic Sans discourse for the week. Black Friday, issue number two. That's about how I feel on Black Friday. Yeah. We stay safe at home. Philadelphia, issue number 13. No, oh, that's not a title yeah, I've seen in a while. I haven't while. seen that in a while. Someone's picking it up. That's good. Good, good. It looks awesome. This is Black Panther issue 25 again. Another Stormbreakers variant. This is Juan Cabal, the Flemish Renaissance. And it's not going to show well, but there is crazy detail. And Heroes Reborn, number four. That's it from the boxes, so give me a moment. And we will dip into good old DC and We've got a bag. We have Action Comics 1031. We have Superman Action Comics 1031, different cover.
Batman, Black and White, Issue 6. Different cover. Different cover. Batman Superman number 18. Batman Superman number 18. Oh, they had a lover's quarrel. <laughs> I like that he's got a battering deployed like a yo-yo. Batman is a not good, very bad day, 1036. Uh, Detective Comics 1036. It's a gnarly play face. I mean... And Batman Detective Comics 1036. And if I start digging, I'm going to disturb the calm of the organization. So that is another unboxing down. I think we got a lot of good number ones in here. The uh, Stormbreakers. Always interesting to see the Darth Vader and family calendar. Super cute. Is that your highlight of this? I think so, yeah. I think I'm most the most impressed because um, it's got like the little time slots and everything, which makes it super useful if you've got to keep track of several people's schedules. Uh, let's see. If you are not joining us every Thursday on both Facebook, uh, Haven Comics, etc., and Haven Comics on YouTube, please do join us Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Time. We have a quiz show. It's a lot of fun. You can be a guest. Just message like to participate. Um, you can also just hang out in the audience and participate because if the guest does not get the question correct, the audience has a chance to sell and the prizes are pretty dang good. And beyond that, it's just a lot of fun. It's just nerds hanging out chitty chatting it's low pressure it's just fun just come hang out give it a try uh if you're watching this on youtube please give this video a like and please subscribe to our channel so that you know when we are putting content out there josh the uh owner of haven if you're not familiar uh he's in the comments right now uh he does occasional unboxings when he gets just a cool package that he's been waiting on when he gets some cgc or cbcs uh graded comics delivered to him yeah, we'll just have a good time. We're a little channel, but we're having fun. I was going to say we mean well, but that's not right. <laughs> uh, other than that, if you are interested in becoming a Haven subscriber, please do. It is free. All we need is your subscription list. Uh, just tell us the comics you're interested in receiving, and we will be able to get those to you. Asterisk, because sometimes deliveries get goofed, but we will do our best. Um, all we ask is that you keep us up to date on your subscriptions. Let us know what you want to add and what you want to remove. Please come in and uh, once a month, please clean out your box. Please get all your comics because buying lots and lots of comics that someone promised they would buy and then they don't and then they leave them at the comic shop is not great for small, friendly, local comic shops and small businesses. It's bad. It hurts us. Please don't do that. But you can cancel and you can pause your subscription and it's that easy. Uh, we're very friendly. Just talk to us. <laughs> like everything, communication is key. Um, and if you become a Haven subscriber, you get 15% off new comics, back issues, and trade. So what's not to like? Is Josh typing anything seriously? or No, but I, I do want to reiterate, come out for our quiz show. It's a great time. Definitely come out, participate. Zachary's trying to win all the prizes. We need to keep him <laughs> from doing so. We need to keep him in check. Yeah. <sighs> How dare you sabotage him. <laughs> uh, one of the prizes each week is always a $25 gift certificate to Haven. Like, come on, it's good. Uh, other than that, 
I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's hot here in Alabama, but apparently we're getting a little storm that's going to clear it out and give us a nice weekend. So fingers crossed. And uh, if I don't see you earlier, I will see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.